Hello, hello, hello. It's me, it's Vimbert. And I'm back with more of that Nuzlocke goodness. As we relax to this sound, uh... Yeah, in brief, a Nuzlocke, you know what those are. I'm also competing against two other people. Whatever, you probably know what's what by now. If not, there's delightful information over on the right-hand side. And you can view the rules by typing exclamation mark rules in the chat, or by checking the description if you're watching the VOD on YouTube. Last time, we recruited a few new members, uh, Revia the Meowth, and, uh, Setsu the Magnemite, and then I was an idiot, and forgot that, uh, Steel is weak to fighting, or kind of guessed that my Magnemite could take one fighting attack or something. I don't quite fully remember what I was thinking. Anyway, I got my Magnemite killed on a rando, but uh, I'm now more or less ready to take on the gym. As you can see, we had a couple evolutions. Uh, Mizuki is all the way up to 25, so she is now a glorious Graveler. Rocking that Quick Claw for now. Still has self-destruct. It's gonna be fine, I promise. It'll be great come Friday, when I face the other two guys. Uh, the boss is now an Arbok. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. <laughs> they are not amused. I bet not, I bet not. And then, uh, I do have a little more leveling to do on now, but I just had to, like, get it here, live on stream. Behold, level 23 Crobat. I set it up correctly. It feels damn good. <laughs> So, while I give people a little time to filter in, just gonna be fighting some stuff with the Crobat, and getting her up to at least 24. I think she'll be in heavy rotation, and I'm very afraid of over-leveling, so... Don't wanna go too crazy. Actually, I probably could've just spam Bite here. It's just a hoot hoot. And actually, why didn't I go to the west? Perhaps not the wisest plan. Yeah, let's uh, let's go to where this isn't going to take eight years. <laughs> and this is why I ended stream last night instead of trying to push through. Because uh, I had some leveling to do. Particularly to get Makoto up to par. You know, we'll see if Makoto comes in handy on Friday or not. I'm not expecting Makoto to do much of anything uh, in the gym here. Though, he still could. It's possible. It's within the realm of possibility. So, I am going to talk through kind of my strategy. Okay, we don't, we don't want to see you get out of here. Or rather, we'll get out of there. I'm going to talk through my strategy real briefly while I'm just grinding up here. My thought is basically, um... Because after looking into it further, Persian is not that great in gold and silver, so I don't think Revia is going to be a long-term party member. So Revia is going to be my semi-disposable cannon fodder, <laughs> and is going to lead and hopefully just soak up some of the curses and such, because she should be speedy enough to do to get some work done with bite. And then, uh, in the latter stages of the fight, I can switch to now the Crobat, who can bust out that Confuse, Kibo the Knocked Owl, who can help out with Hypnosis, or the boss, the Arbok, although that one's risky, but I think Dig could come in seriously handy there. I don't know. But, and, oh, and of course, Mizuki the Graveler. Although, she basically demands to have a mint berry put on her, and I do have two. The other one's probably gonna go on now, because I'll be counting on her to do a lot of the heavy lifting. And I just know some hypnoses are gonna land. I had terrible, terrible luck with, uh, just hypnosis. I mean, I think it has a, what, like, 65% accuracy? But the last time I went up against more or less a dedicated hypnosis user, uh, in the randomizer that he and I did, 
hypnosis landed every time, and it was what made us lose the challenge. I lost something like four Pokemon to an executor who just kept being like, Hypnosis! 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 And I just had no answer. I had nothing. Just like I'd similarly have nothing here, because, uh, you know, can't exactly just reach into my pack and bust out an awakening. Not allowed. Not allowed. Though I do have a couple mint berries, and that's good. Speaking of which, what? I don't remember if that's what the game thought it was yesterday, was Tuesday. Because my ROM is all messed up. Because, <laughs> uh, well, and that's on me, so let's check. Oh my god, yes, three mint berries. Okay, that's... That makes this a lot easier. Because now I can slap one onto... Yeah, my three heavy hitters for this fight. Graveler, Noctowl, and Crobat. Should greatly minimize, uh, well, not minimize, but should greatly reduce the risk the team is going to face here. And you know, this might, uh, I'm, God, I'm just really hoping I can go for fast kills here, but we'll have to see. Oh, welcome, Hugh. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't finish out- finish grinding out my Crobat because I had to display on stream that I achieved Crobat at level 23. <laughs> Just for posterity. <laughs> Alright, but 24 should be good enough. Because I also have to worry about overleveling, of course. Twenty-five Umbreon. That's huge. And bold. <laughs> Enjoy your walking. <laughs> I'm legitimately unsure that this, my stream will be live enough to uh, keep with you the whole way. Because <laughs> I don't even know what friendship level do you get that Eevee at. I haven't checked that at all. Okay. I have taken care of all the trainers, so I'm going to pass out the mint berries at this point. Having three is huge, so we give one to Mizuki. Oh, <laughs> fair, fair. We give one to Kibo. And we give one to Now. Oh, pff, no, 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 give not to us, give not to us. Stupid muscle memory there. <laughs> As for Quick Claw, I am going to give it to Ravia, just to hopefully help her to be even more of a threat. Okay, 1687. Because I do have a few party members at 25, so... Ah, now I'm wishing I'd gone and, like, went and taken notes at how much XP Zed got off everything. I think I am about as ready as I reasonably can be. So my strategy in brief. Lead with a normal type Meowth to just force out, like, self defeats from curses as I bite them to death, and then after that fails, switch to my three actual competent members. I'm hoping that works fairly well? I don't know. And if Revia goes down, ultimately not the biggest loss. You know, I would prefer to keep the five points, but I'd rather have a five point loss than a 55 point loss from a wipe. <laughs> Okay, let's actually remember for once to turn on the battle scene, because I didn't for the rival, because I forgot he was there. Like a fool! Even though I'm pretty sure I saw... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, with all these psychic Pokémon running around, you don't want to main a fighting type the whole time? Wild! Yeah, the dying for their country. If needed. If needed. Let's go for it. But as good as this music is, that ain't how we roll into gyms. 
How y'all doing now? Whether you're up or way down low, don't you miss Vimbert's Lucky Number Show. As we bully McGuire walk past the trainers we have utterly thrashed. I am going to save out of nervous nervousness. <laughs> Is there anything I could, I've overlooked? Is there any TMs I could pass out? Rail out and Fury Cutter are not gonna help. Oh yeah, strength. I could give someone strength, right? Interesting option for Makoto. Not that it's relevant for this gym. Yeah, it's not like I can save scum, I know. Just... Nerves. <laughs> and you know, I live in perpetual fear. It is theoretically possible that my IRL cat Rebya could just dash along and like, put her paw down on the, on the power strip button, which she has not done in the entire time that I've had her, but she's been a little cranky today. I think she's angry because it was warm for a while and now it's cold, but... Okay, Rev is up front, held items are distributed. Have I got... Should divvy out some berries too, if I've got them. Because may as well. This is really the last trainer I'm seriously concerned about. Chuck gave me some problems in my practice run, but I, I'm i chalking that up to poor luck rather than anything else. Okay, let's do this. Good of you to have come. Here in the city, Pokemon have been revered. It's said that legendary Pokemon will appear to the truly powerful trainers. I believe that tale. So I've secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the legendary Pokémon. You're going to help me reach that level. Oh, God! <clears throat> here we go. Peter Morty wants to battle. Four Pokémon. First up is Ghastly. This isn't gonna be that bad. This team can do this. Revia commence the bite spam. <laughs> Flinch? Okay. Not that surprising. So Revia's got a curse, gotta remember that. Okay, Haunter. I think Revia's fine for this one as well. Curse is going to shave off a little. <sighs> okay, we bite to finish off Haunter, and then Revia needs to get out of there, I think, to be safe. Particularly, yeah, XP is starting to become a problem. Yeah, Revia extremely needs to get out of there. Um, okay, so... I have a normal type out right now, which means it's not going to try and Shadow Ball. Could try and Mean Look. Could also try a Hypnosis. Either way, I gotta bring out one of the heavy hitters. So the question is who I trust in the most, either Mizuki, Kibo, or Now. I really do trust Mizuki pretty well, but... around Mizuki, Kibo, and Now. So they're obviously the top priority. They're also my best choices. I almost feel like I want to go for Now, just for confusion, for added security. Yeah. Hypnosis whiffs. That's huge. That's huge. Eat some Confuse, Rain Nerd. Hit yourself or miss. Hit yourself or miss. Okay. One Hypnosis that we eat is fine. 
we have that mint berry. Now we're faster, and we can just keep biting. So we've got bite fusion up. Yes, good. Flinch. Wonderful. Keep this up now. Come on. I believe. I believe. <laughs> ah, okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, the power of Crobat. Oh, wait, this hunter can also hypnotize. Oh. You know, or I could get charity. <laughs> I'm not going to complain one bit either way. Perfect, nice and clean. I'm not good enough yet. All right, this badge is yours. And a lot of money. Whew, thanks, Ed. By having Fog Badge, Pokemon to level 50 will obey you. Also Pokemon that blah 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 blah. <laughs> I want you to have this too. TM30! It was real. It was so real. It was almost as real as the Mizuki carry. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. Oh, cool. Man, planning for that one was tough, because that went nice and clean, but that could have easily went sideways so many different ways. My Crobat's special attack is pretty decent. Nah, I don't mind revealing it, because in theory, if you were uh, motivated enough, you could just go back through the VODs. Uh, it is 49 special attack. So, not great. Yeah, who do I even have that can use Shadow Ball? <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Payday memes aside, I don't think Revia is a permanent member of the team. So, alright, we're just gonna be chilling for a little bit as I finish leveling the team up to 25. You know, there's always the chance that uh, I could run into a shiny or two, and I realized that uh, I basically did nothing in the burn tower after the rival scared the shit out of me. So... I, uh, there are some items I can pick up in here, I believe. And of course, you know, the, the legendaries. Gotta love those free Ultra Balls. Is there one here as well? There is! Oh, burn heal. Well, I'm ready for Blaine. <laughs> I guess that's something. Oh, right, uh... Right, strength. I should... I think I need that in here, so... Let's slap that onto Makoto. Because I'm still carting around... Th Thundershock, for God's sake. And we have the far superior Thunder Punch. What if I just... It's kind of crazy to me that... In the original releases, you didn't have to trigger the Wandering Legendaries. They're just like, oh, you know, there's, like, Legendary Pokémon if you want. You know, if you feel like it. This is actually extra good, because it lets me do a little maneuver with the boss that I was worrying about. Oh, there's a trainer over there? I didn't remember that. <laughs> yeah, it's optional unless you're playing Crystal. HP up. Hmm, who do I give that to? Oh, hey, what up, Magmar? Where were you when I was fishing for encounters last night? Yep, the gym is closed until you, uh go to the burn tower and trigger the dogs.
because now the boss hits level 25, and I learn my favorite move, Glare. And because the boss's attack is better than her special attack, and I've already beaten the Ghost Gym, and I have Headbutt, I no longer give a damn about Bite. Much better. I was actually very worried I'd be forced to... Oh, right. I should take some of these items away so I don't waste them. Uh, Happy and Love You A Lot is, I think, like the second highest friendship tier. Which you need to be halfway through that for the friendship evos. It's annoying as shit. <laughs> Oh, wait, you have the Quick Claw, that can stay, I guess. Uh, so now also need some love. Not that much, but a little. Yeah, I think the Happy and Loves You a lot is like 200 to 240 something, and 220 is what you need for the Friendship Evos, according to my research. I never messed around with the Friendship Evos, so this was all kind of new territory for me. I did, like, a whole lot of math to make sure that, uh... Wait, can I not... Can I not... Can I not trigger the dogs yet? That doesn't seem... correct. Oh, you need Rock Smash? Well, that's stupid. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> come on now, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ugh, Rock Smash. A TM that they try to pretend is like an HM in Gen 2. Don't understand why. I think later they do just make it an HM. To, you know, add to the other 50 HM moves. Oh, right, I should update my points total. So I'm going into Friday with, uh... 75 points. <laughs> right, yeah. I remember playing, uh... That was one of the gripes I had. Because I did play Soul Silver all the way through, because I was like, oh yeah! I remember Gold and Silver. Yeah, I'll buy that. And, uh, after a while I was like, why are the... Why does half my team have to be made of HMs to get anywhere in this goddamn game? Like, was water was Waterfall and Whirlpool not enough? What more must you require from us, Game Freak? Can't wait. Crit. Oh yeah, just thinking through the hypotheticals here, I assume Zed has gone at this point to uh, walk the walk the dags. But uh, Hugh, how do you think we treat it if I happen to run into a shiny now after I've beaten the gym? Would it like become a required starting next week? Probably won't happen, but the thought just occurred to me. How bad's Hyperfang hit? Oh, that was a crit. Yeah. You know, hopefully it won't be... Alright, screw this. We just need to start swifting. Hopefully it won't become a problem, but like... You know, we're trying to be cautious about overleveling, so... Might be a thing we have to contend with at some point. Because I keep, uh... <laughs> I don't know if anyone's noticed this, but I've been in extremely cautious about how I've gone about my, like, rooting and leveling to try and minimize the amount of time I spend in the grass. Because I am just so scared after both you guys got 
shinies, like, relatively quickly, that I'm like, my turn has to be coming. It has to be coming. I'll run into some garbage Pokemon that I don't want, or something that I already have and have dumped a bunch of TMs into, and it'll be like, hey, it's a shiny! Here you go, Vim! And I'll be like, oh, no! I think the shiny overwrites the ban. And we've just kind of... I don't know that, uh... He and Zed and I have talked about it. Will be just kind of unspoken gentleman's agreement to not, uh... To not, like, deliberately try and grind for shinies we're banned from. Like, you know, theoretically... Oh, a shiny ban. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. Because, you know, theoretically, I could just spend, like three hours here just running around outside of Goldenrod being like, I need a shiny Abra. I need a shiny Abra. I have to be cool like Zed and everyone following along. I need, I need a Kadabra. I need that Kadabra, man. But, nah. I ain't about that life. And I don't think uh, the other two are either. Because at a certain point, you kind of have to be like, alright, come on. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen some... Yeah, trade evos. <laughs> the trade evos have been nice, and you know, aside from me uh, screwing up how this ROM thing works, it's, uh, it's worked out very well. I have seen, you know, some other streamers, thereabouts, granted they're not doing this in the older games, they're doing it like Arceus, but uh, they're... All they're doing is just streaming shiny hunting and, like, trying to get a shiny Pokedex. I'm like, that sounds miserable. That's right, I knew there was a reason why I was keeping you around, Kibo. Reflect. Very important. Because now I can be cool like everyone else and immediately set up and swap out. Hey, big grats, you. Everybody better be sure to watch him tomorrow. See the Umbreon in action. I'm actually thinking now, since I already have Swift, Foresight is not going to be that helpful because there's not going to be such a concentrated area of ghost Pokemon ever again. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> I mean, if it makes you feel any worse, Inception, I'm probably going to get Umbreon too. I just have a particular plan with Umbreon where I cannot evolve it yet. I need to double check to make sure it works. That's something I'll be doing between streams, so this could all be wrong. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess in theory I could end the stream... <laughs> in theory I could end the stream there, but... I'd feel a little bad for only giving you guys half an hour, so, uh... Why don't we go gamble for a little while? You know? Feed my, uh... <laughs> feed my compulsive gambling habit. We'll vibe to that for a little bit and then, uh, call her a night. Do a little early. And then, of course, uh, tomorrow, Hugh is going to be streaming the rest of uh, his gameplay. I think it's going to be, again, mostly just like me. Just wham-bam, thank you, Morty Ma'am. Go in and fight the gym. And then on Friday, we'll be doing the little podcasty thing where we compare how our weeks went and do the PvP fights. Just to get that out there in case anybody wants to duck out, because I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, so really I, like, oh, I almost wish I would have pushed last night, but the whole using Revia strategy required a lot of leveling that was really tedious, even with speed-ups after the stream, so I was like, eh. Because it uh, turns out Meowth is not that powerful. 
Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. I also wanted to think through... Swagger. I mean, maybe BK is just all about that Sigma grind set. He just wants those Poké Dollars at any cost. Ironically, I think the only person I'd have room to put Swagger on is Now, and Now already has Confuse Ray, so that feels like a waste. I might actually put it on Goose later. Yeah, that's not half bad. Yeah. I think that might be the plan, because Goose is probably coming back on the team next week. In any event, uh... Let's do some gambling, shall we? And of course, this fucker... is here, hogging the good slot machine. So, I'm just gonna go for the nice, safe, uh... card flip. Kind of play the odds at first. Yeah. Wait for the field to get narrowed down a little bit, and then we go for the dangerous bets. That's at least how I always approach this. It doesn't lead to huge gains, and, like, objectively, it is better to go for uh, the slots. If you can, you know, get that good machine, but... Hmm, like here... Level 3 and 4 are a little more open. Yeah. So you get smaller gains, but it's like, it's a little more consistent. Plus, uh, you know, less chance I completely ruin my coin. Well... Actually, you know what? Screw it, I already bought Fire Blast. Who cares if I burn through all my coins? Let's do some slots. Let's play right next to the guy and look awkwardly over his shoulder the whole time, breathing heavily. Maybe his luck will rub off on us. I actually don't know how the, uh, lucky system works in Gen 2. I just know that that one machine always has it on. I do like Card Flip. I think it's the game I would probably play if I were, like, here in reality, but... In the Pokémon world, gambling really only pays well if you win huge, so you kinda need the Golem, you piece of shit! <laughs> ah. How dare you. The machine even tried to rig it for me. Alas, it was not- oh. Golem. Golem. One more. Stop. Hey, there we go. Ah, look at that beautiful payout. I really wish I would have had the Gen 2 slots last season. Cause oh boy, grinding out uh, that Hyper Beam with Gen 1 slots was just abject misery. <laughs> you don't have any of these fun little things where it's like, oh, let's like try and rig it so you get a payout of 300. And of course, we have that, uh, that Lucky Channel theme playing in the background. gambling podcast now. This is this is what I do off-stream to spare everyone. <laughs> you know, not at all in no fashion to, uh, you know, save tactically when uh, I've won big a bunch of times. In no fashion. This is actually why one of the rules I want, I'm thinking about putting in place uh, if I manage to win this season, because the winner does get to implement a new rule. Oh, Golem, you're not going to be able to get it there. Why are we even bothering? Is, uh, no game corner? Because I've heard there's a lot of good stuff in the Gen 3 game corner, and kind of makes me go... Rrr. I mean, either that or, uh, 
The first thing I had in my brain was to try and go for, uh, like, just outlawing, like, mm, eggs you get from Pokemon breeding? But I don't get the impression any of the three of us is, are try-hard enough to try and, like, obsessively breed out, you know, some OP Pokemon. Not that we'd probably have enough encounters to make it work anyway, because an egg hatch is an encounter under our rules. So, Hugh, I am once again asking for your support. Yeah. I don't really know uh, how breeding works to be, like, truly advantageous and competitive. But in theory, it should be possible. Like, all three of us have caught a ditto by now. So, that's one thing. And then, I don't know, you, I guess, just have to look at... Because I've been looking at movesets, and, you know, there's some things where it's like, oh, if you breed it with... If uh, it's born from this father, then it can have this move that you really want. And I'm like, well, okay, that's literally never going to happen. Because I was trying to look into, like, basically ways to make Umbreon better. <laughs> or maybe this was... Maybe it wasn't Umbreon. I don't know, it was some some Pokemon I was looking at, where it was like, oh, well, if you get it out of an egg, and a Murkrow is the father, then it comes with, um... Oh, it comes with Beat Up, because I think Beat Up is a hilarious and very meme move, and I would love to bust it out, but it basically seems like it's not gonna happen and be way more trouble than it'd be worth. Just from what I know from, like, memes from, uh people who play Pokemon a little more seriously. It sounds like, you know, carefully breeding for the optimal thing involves a lot of, like, hatching Pokemon that turn out to be just total garbage. So realistically, I don't think you could do it in a Nuzlocke. But... Could be possible, you know? You'd just be using up a lot of city encounters rather than fishing out of whatever ponds or headbutting any trees. You'd just be like trying for a good Pokemon that's also a shiny, I guess? Because I think. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about how the mechanics work. <laughs> but I think it's possible in theory. But yeah, much more realistic is just the game corner thing. And you know, I do love me some uh, RPG gambling, you know. Dragon Quest 8 and uh, 11. They have those casinos and I'm like, oh, I need that good equipment way sooner than I'd ever be able to get it. Give me that. I will grind roulette for hours. It actually led me to develop a real world roulette system that uh, Granted, it works a lot less well when you can't save and reload, <laughs> but it has a 33% chance of paying off huge, because it's all about basically placing every possible bet on one, like, section of the table. So no matter which number you hit, you've got anywhere from, um, 6 to 11 bets paying off. You know, including the single number bet. I think at a, at, you know, Vegas or something, they'd probably give me really dirty looks for trying to use it, because it'd be obnoxious as hell. Because I'd be stacking chips up on, like, all these different places. I actually employed it at, um, a holiday party that, uh, my day job had, where they did kind of a Vegas theme, and they had these people in and just, like, gave us 500 bucks worth of chips, and it was just kind of a little competition. The top three people at the end of the night got prizes, and, uh, yeah, I had some success with it there. Not enough to come out in the top three. Apparently Craps was the game to play there out of the games they had set up, and I spent a little too much time at Blackjack, because I do love me some Blackjack. I'm not especially good at it, 
and I love playing to try and defy the odds, and I'm naturally a decently lucky person, so usually works out. This is why I do not allow myself to remember that just a little ways west of Denver, there are cities with, uh, legalized gambling. Um, I thought about it, and no, I don't think I'm gonna do a good life. It's, I don't know. Just not really feeling it tonight. So I think it's just gonna be a wh little while longer of the uh, vitamin to gambling, and then I'm gonna call it an evening. So, Zed, I don't remember if you and Fox are planning to do anything too much bad life. Yeah, pretty much. Nah, not that things have then been particularly rough, but more that, uh... You know, the kitty's been uh, acting up a little bit, so... And it's hard to pay attention to her when I'm streaming, so... Though she has kind of been hiding for a while, but... I figure in at least about a half an hour or so, she'll probably appear and be like, Hey! Hey, pay attention to me! Hey! I'm gonna go and act like I'm peeing in a corner of the room to make you pay attention to me. She never does, thankfully, but... She knows exactly what she's doing. And she knows that I'll hate it. <laughs> it makes me worry. And really, the good life... You could say that, uh... The game itself is the bad life. I think at this point, the good life, I might just, like, randomly stream it on a Sunday or something when I have some time. Which reminds me, I do need to fix my schedule, because I think here on Twitch it says that I'm supposed to be streaming uh, the good life tonight, so... Oops. I mean, I know everyone ravenous in the chat for uh, the good life, a game that nobody's ever heard of, and is, realistically speaking, not that good, <laughs> but kind of entertaining in how weird it is. I do fe think there's value in that, but as a video game? <laughs> it's no deadly premonition. For better or for worse. talked about what rules I was thinking about implementing. Should I get that chance? Almost got triple sevens there. Yes, the dream is alive! Ah, you son of a bitch. I think my main worry at this point, and it's a little awkward because he's right here, uh, but Zed's Kadabra. You know, eventually to be Alakazam. I was not expecting that to be as much of a thing as it currently is. You know, I have some plans in the future to help to mitigate that. But I think this week, realistically, I'm probably going to get bodied in PvP again. I think my odds are... Sorry, Hugh. But I think my odds are pretty decent versus Hugh. But... Ugh. Man. <laughs> My man just can't get a dub in the actual game. <laughs> Donate bits at, <laughs> at twitch.tv slash Gaming to the Hugh Gaming Nuzlocke Relief Fund. Because, <laughs> yeah, realistically on this current team, the only real answer I have to... <laughs> Gen 2, more like. Yeah. You got that Gen 2 curse. Gen Tilt. <laughs> I've been feeling good about Gen 2, you know. It's it's still possible that I'll end up hating it, but I'm enjoying it. And yeah, Kadabra is a hell of a drug. I don't 
regret my decision to go with it in Gen 1, because I think it was still plenty powerful there. And being able to use oh, special for both stats was, I feel, really huge. Though realistically, I probably should have just used Hypno. Because, uh, at least going by the drowsy I caught in Gen 2, uh, drowsy not that good in Gold, Silver, Crystal? That's probably not a factual statement, but... Mine just might have, like, the worst special attack in the history of Psychic types. That's also an untrue- Stop right there! No, Golem, you little bitch! Yeah, right now, basically, the only answer I have to a Kadabra is, uh... are ones that are full of risk. Either I use Crobat, who's gonna eat super effective Confusions, or super effective Ice Punches, which is probably even worse, um, and just try and push through with a combination of Confuse and Bite, or I uh, try and stop it cold with Hypnosis with Knockdown, which is not really reliable. We are gambling! Welcome, Leafy! I've already beaten the gym! <laughs> and to stop, to stop the stream from being, like, 30 minutes or whatever, we're just vibing and uh, talking over gambling a little bit. How about my fears for PvP? <laughs> Oh, right, Psybeam. Shit. Yeah, I even saw that happen in Zed's chat. I forgot about that. Ugh. Yeah, basically, I either gamble on Crobat, because I think Crobat is the only person on my team that has a prayer of possibly outspeeding Kadabra. But it probably won't. Um, or I just try and go in with something that can eat either a punch or a side beam and just try and physical attack it to death. Neither of those seem super workable to me. Or, you know. <laughs> I bring out Mizuki. Mizuki somehow lives through magical Disney bullshit. Uh, and then Mizuki self-destructs. Because <laughs> I'll have that option for PvP. Because it's on my Graveler. I learned it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Disney bullshit is basically how I play Pokemon, just like, hoping that my good luck will see me through, because uh, my knowledge of the game sure ain't. Though, you know, you might not know it from watching me play this game, because I actually kind of sort of know Gen 2 a little bit. I know, I know a couple things, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm like, oh, wait, that's a thing? Wait, what? How does Pokemon work? Truly. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I feel like I'm the one most deserving of the Pokeboomer label. Because, <laughs> God, Gen 3, it's gonna be bad. I'll have, like, an idea what Pokémon are good, thanks to the little soul lock that Hugh and I did, because mostly ended up being Gen 3 Pokémon anyway, but I'm not gonna know, uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna know Pokéball from a hole in the ground, basically. It'll be pure suffering and delight. I think next week, Revia's getting kicked off the team because... Sorry, Persian. And sorry, Payday. But there's more important things than money right now, I can't believe I just said that. I bring Goose back on. I'm pretty... happy with where the team is. I do think I want to... bring in an Evolution, but I'm not sure who I want to kick off. Might be Knockdowl? Like, the Hypnosis access is good, don't get me Oh no, Noctowl does have my Reflect, which does have value. Uh. 
But at the same time, I feel like Reflect is going to start falling off, because we've got more options opening up, we can pick up, we can pick up more, like, special attackers. So while it's certainly invaluable for, you know, Zed, because the fulcrum of his offense is that Kadabra, who obviously has a defense of bad, but I don't know that I have anyone that's similarly susceptible on my side. It's still probably a good idea, mind, but... I don't know, I'll have to look at some movesets. I never expect to be spoiled for choice in Nuzlocke's, but... I kind of am at this point a little bit. You know, I was, uh... <laughs> I was kind of hoping I could be super cool. Catch a Tauros as well, but... Didn't quite happen. You know, instead I caught a Meowth and a, uh... Magnemite that I got killed like an idiot. It will forever remain as a mark of shame. A stain on my honor! And a detriment on my point total. <laughs> but it's Gen 2. The blood must flow eventually. Hmm. We're on kind of a losing streak here. So I think a few more spins, and then I will wrap it up. Shorter stream than usual for me, but... Uh, Got some stuff to take care of, and hey, we got the gym done with no deaths. Love that. I was thoroughly prepared to have, like, I would have considered it okay if I came out of that gym with two deaths. You know, I'm still coming out of this week with a death, but it wasn't even gym related. I take that. I take that gladly. Because uh, it could have been way worse. Oh yeah, next week I need to have a water type too. Ugh. I'll need to be making several changes. Hmm. Forgot about that little detail. Because next week is going to be the week when Arbok really takes off. It's going to involve a whole lot of extra effort on my part, to the point where I know I'm going to need two days to stream. To get it set up, and get it to do it in a way that doesn't go over level cap, but by god it's going to be worth it. And I've basically got two options for water type- no, three options. I can grab the Magikarp out of my bank, PC, and evolve it into a Gyarados. I got Poliwag, or I've got Krabby. I'm almost tempted to do Krabby. Although Krabby's not actually good at using water moves. Yeah, I fought Morty. We're just vibing with gambling for a little bit, J-Bob, and actually probably about to end off here. Big pinches, yep. Of course you would come in when I'm talking about Krabby. <laughs> you have been summoned. Yeah, I'm gonna have to weigh that, because... Good old poly swag. It's a powerful choice. Alright. Have a good evening, Hugh. Yeah, I'll be, uh... Closing up shop soon as well. Yeah. I'm bleeding chips. The gym has been beaten. We got done what we needed to do. Um, yeah, not seeing anybody I uh, know, so I don't think there's going to be any raid. Just uh, going to call it here. A little awkward, a little short. Maybe should have just pushed through last night. Oh well, lesson learned. Thank you all for coming out. Spend a little bit of your day with me. If you're watching the VOD, af VOD after the fact, I see you. I appreciate you. My name's Vimbert. I'll see you around the internets.